We're talking with Mississippi College head coach John Bland as we look ahead to this weekend's homecoming game against Shorter University. But after a week off last Saturday, coach, let's go back and talk about the Florida Tech game two weeks ago. 34-14 was the final score. Mm -hmm. I summarized it afterwards. Your defense had three interceptions and a fumble recovery. One of two Tech touchdowns was on a Hail Mary at the end of the half. Yeah. You ran for 271 yards. You held the ball for 40 minutes and you passed for three touchdowns. You had trick plays that worked. Everything seemed to be clicking that past Saturday night. What was the most satisfying thing for you as a coach out of that football game? Well, you know, two things. Our, our, kick, our kicking game wasn't, wasn't perfect. We did, we did, uh, we have room for improvement in every area though. Offense, defense, and special teams. So, uh, everything look, looked really good though. We played extremely hard as we always have. That was good to see. We're just making fewer mistakes and our guys have bought in. They believe that they can win. They believe that they can win every play. And uh, I know Florida Tech's a good football team. They're a playoff team. They had beaten uh, some good football teams in West Alabama uh, already. So it's hard to figure out who's, who's the best and who's not. I know we've been competing every week uh, but it was really satisfying to see our defense play so well. I know the Hail Mary was frustrating, and it was a little bit frustrating that we hadn't scored more points in the first half. I think we should have, should have, could have, would have, and all that, but we'd probably been up 24 to nothing. Uh, but it wasn't that case. It was, it was 14 to 7, and uh, that was a little bit frustrating. But, but we, we played so well on defense. We created those turnovers. We came up with big stops. That was big. And we kept the ball on offense. We ran the ball extremely well. Uh, we were able to do things and really come off the ball better than I've ever seen uh, from our teams uh, here at, at uh, the Mississippi College. And since I've been here, we've came off the ball and moved the line of scrimmage, which really helps when you can do that. But and I think we're capable of doing that most in, in and out of every week. Um, now, I go back and watch the film. Was it every play? Was it total domination? No, but it was a really, really played well by both sides of the ball. Well, you mentioned not making mistakes, but the Choctaws have done a good job this year of taking advantage of the mistakes that other teams have made. The, you mentioned the, the turnovers. What, what leads to those kind of taking advantage opportunities? What do you do during the week to put your players in a position to get, get, get those opportunities for interceptions and fumble recoveries. You bet. You know what, we've got players that play fast and, and you know what, they're learning how to practice fast and I think the more they do that, you know, when you go through, uh, I look at a, a success on the field on game day and you say, is, are we going to be perfect on game day? Are we going to play perfect on game day? Well, we got to practice uh, that way. You know, not, not, you don't just practice to practice, you practice and you try to have perfect practice and then you'll see perfection in the ball game. You can't just expect it to happen on game day. So our guys are learning how to practice fast, and I think they're seeing more success on Saturdays, and uh, that's, that's always good. You know, when a, when a team comes out there and they play extremely hard, good things will happen. When they have confidence, I think things, good things will happen. When we have a break comes our way, score. And not just take the break and just accept the break and then punt it back to them. We want to take that break and get points or, or take the ball on interception and run all the way with it. We've seen a lot more of that this year. And I think it has to do with their confidence. I think it has to do with the way they're practicing. And I think a lot of it has to do with uh, our players and how they feel and what's inside of them. And, and uh, we've got, a, we've got a, a, some winners that are on our team. Well, Jalen Jones had 100 yards rushing in the first half in that ball game. Mm -hmm. Wound up with 127. I think maybe in years past, we would have seen that kind of first half performance, and the depth wouldn't be there to back it up in the second half, but it certainly is there this year. And going forward, that seems to be one of the real strengths of this team, that you can have a, a breakout performance in one half, but he doesn't run out of gas, or if he does, there are other people there to pick up the slack. There's no doubt about it. We have more depth at almost every position. And, uh, than we've ever had. That helps an awful lot. So we've had some talent in the past. We've had some talented players more than others now, but uh, we've had some guys in the past, but not very much depth. And that hurts. Uh, we've seen that right now already. And I hate to talk about this, but we've had some injuries. Some guys who have, who have not been able to play with us who are really good players and starters for us. Um, and we're still having some success because we have depth and we have good backups. We got guys that, hey, the next man's going to step up and, and do the job the best he can. And that's in a lot of positions. Those running backs, though, we're getting those balls, those guys. Now, listen, 
it's not just the running backs. They are good runners. There's no doubt about it. We, we have some strong runners, but the offensive line is paving the way, and that's not just cliche. It is really happening. They're paving the way, and they're getting better each week too. So the good thing is they're not just saying, hey, we're, we're, we're where we want to be. Let's just continue to play football. They're getting better every day in practice, and they have to for us to finish the way we want to in this league, and uh, you'll see that. But our running backs are, are also improving too. You mentioned the offensive line. I think I noticed more than that last game against Florida Tech, a lot more run blocking well past the line of scrimmage than what we have had in yes. the first several games this year. Yes, I'll assure you Florida Tech did not like it uh, because the line of scrimmage was moving that direction. For the most part, it was moving on their side of the ball, and the linebackers were getting knocked back, and they were – uh, at the end of the plays, they weren't the ones that were gang tackling. It was an attack style offense, and our offensive line led the way. But we had running backs blocking them to the ground and getting after them real good. So that's what we need to do. And that's not just versus Florida Tech. We needed to make sure that happens versus shorter and uh, on through the season. Prior to that game, the passing game had kind of struggled to make some connections against both West Florida and, and Valdosta State. Uh, but that seemed to be a, a connection that was reestablished because there were several big gainers. It, it seemed like the passing game worked the way you have designed it to work. It's not the first necessarily or even the second option, but when that third option is there, it's really clicking. Yes, it is. And I'm tell you what, we're capable, you know, and Dietrich is uh – Dietrich Hawthorne's a really good quarterback. He, he can throw it. He's got a strong arm. Obviously, he's a great runner, and he's got great vision. Everything he does is good. Now, some things he does better than others, and throwing the ball is one that he has to continue to work on because he's a runner first. He's going to be able to make big plays in the passing game, and when he locks in, when he focuses on his target, he, he can be very accurate. And I think he did that this week. Uh, he had really, and it starts with the protection. When you've got good protection, you're not worried about people coming in and getting you. And, and instead of taking off and running, he's thinking about hitting his target, keeping his eyes on his target, and he's very accurate. And we got receivers who can get open as well. Well, we've got Shorter University this week. We've all are familiar with their struggles over the last several years. Uh, they lost a game la their last time out, just seven to nothing, to mm -hmm. North Greenville. Played well, had chances to win that game. So, in a sense. They're showing signs of getting a little bit better. This is not a team you can really take for granted. You can look at no. statistics or records. They, they're going to come play hard. Yeah, we're not going to do that ever, ever. We know how, how tough it is to win football games, period, and every team should re really think that way. Sometimes teams don't. They get to winning a lot, and they start uh, being upset when they win by seven or win barely. No, winning is winning, and I'm going to tell you something. Shorter can play. They play extremely hard. They are close. They're going to be hungry. I'll promise you this. They probably had this game circled for a while just because of their win streak or, or losing streak is in, and not being able to win ball games. And who, what do you do? You say, well, we got to find one we can win. And they've thought this for a while, you know, but I don't think we're the same team either. But we're not taking anybody for granted. We're going to play extremely hard, play our game, and uh, hopefully we have good things happen on Saturday. You've had some pretty nice fall weather to practice, but by game time on Saturday, it's supposed to rain all day Friday and most yep. of the day Saturday. It's going to be homecoming. The crowd will be there. Sure. But uh, in, in preparing for that kind of weather, it's nice to be in an artificial turf field, but the, the, the holding on to the football becomes doubly important. It does, and we've, we've stressed that, but it's also something that they may have an advantage on because they played in the rain last week right. on turf, but they played in the rain. Of course, they didn't score any points, but they got a lot of work. They didn't turn the ball over an awful lot either. Uh, North Greenville was and, and Shorter were both throwing the football around like it was dry, and I'm thinking that was uh, pretty impressive to me. But, but we have been able to practice. We hadn't practiced in the rain. I wanted to this week, but it didn't rain on us as much as we wanted to. But we have been practicing with a wet ball a little bit. It won't be able to simulate what will happen if it is raining. That's just the, the facts with rain dripping off your helmet, through your eyes, and on your hands, and you're and your, and your wet the whole time. It's just one of those unique sports, you know, where every other sport in America pretty much, if it's raining, they shut it down. Uh, we play in football, and uh, unless it's lightning. And so hopefully we'll be able to handle the football. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to take advantage and maybe strip some balls loose uh, from them, from our defense, uh, maybe. And then we just got to have a little more laser-like uh, laser focus on the little things, catching the football, protecting it a little more. You can't just run with it. You can't just look it in barely and tuck it. You've got to squeeze it, and you've got to really take care of it because it is going to be wet. It won't be muddy, which is good, but it will be wet. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll have good things happen. 
And it will be homecoming, as we mentioned. And, you know, the That's three exciting. road three road games this year have been really tough road games. It's really they good have. teams. And the wins have come at home. And from a big picture perspective, to let the hometown crowd see how the progress is being made in this program, mm -hmm. it's good to have have these good performances at home where they can come and see with their own eyes what the Choctaws are That's doing. exactly right. We're expecting a big crowd, which is good. I hope the rain or the chance of rain doesn't, uh, you know, lead people away and not not come to the ball game because there is a, there's a there's a great team out there really a lot of good kids to watch that play extremely hard it's a good brand of football and a good product uh, I'm excited for them but you know the the people that have not made it out to a game yet man I hope they do uh, I think they really enjoy it coach we appreciate your time wish you good luck in the game this weekend thank you